availability means business and if your app your software system is not available your business is going to have a downtime also right okay so very first topic availability and what are the things which we have to do to maintain high availability so let's discuss about that see availability in simple words means your system has to be available that is the crux of system design we want our systems to be available take for example your your pizza your favorite pizza delivery app your amazon your zomato when you're ordering food or you need your cabs uber ola you want them to be accessible whenever you need them and in today's time where digital presence is so much we technically need them 24/7 we do not know when we need to have when we want to have a pizza or when we need to have an uber right so therefore we want these apps to be operational or available to the customers 24/7 which is virtually impossible that is why you would hear terms like there is some downtime you would hear terms like there is technical glitch and so on and so forth so we do not want these things to happen but it is unavoidable okay so availability in simple words like we said you want your systems to be operational and accessible it is just a percentage of time when it is just like so it is expressed as the percentage of time in a given period when your app your system is accessible to the users so it is referred to as the percentage of up time which is the opposite of down time so you want your systems to have an up time and not a down time so we'll come to the formula and all of that later so so far we are clear about what is availability and why do we require it here are some use cases to explain it more further like i gave example of your shopping sites whenever you want to order something it can be midnight it can be 3 am in the morning if you are trying to browse if you are trying to do any order the app should be able to support should be available for you similarly in case of fintech we know that atm withdrawals like atms are supposed to be open 24/7 not just open open they should also be able to serve the customers like if i need money in the middle of the night i should go to an atm and i should be able to do the cash withdrawal the system should not be like there's a lag there's a glitch and all of that so this is the use cases which actually will motivate you to understand about availability when we talk of availability in system design right so these are the use cases um coming to the key concepts like i said up time means the total time a system is functioning correctly down time is just the opposite when it is not functioning there is a lag and glitch and la service level agreement this is really very important this is like a deal between the app provider or the business and the customer right so this is a deal between them and the businesses like i said availability means business okay availability means business and if your app your software system is not available your business is going to have a downtime also right so that is the thing so service level agreements are done between customer where when it is like a promise we make to the customer that this is the availability which we are promising that we will only be down for one hour in a month let's say so we'll only be down for one hour in a month and that is a promise we make and we express that in the form of a percentage which will come to in a minute so that is the agreement which you make now the moment you violate that that thing that you are not able to meet that expectation then you have to face penalties okay so if we talk about this table we usually express availability in the form of nines like how many nines of availability you would want so for an example three nines if you are saying that you are saying in a year your app your system is only going to be having a glitch like a aggregate downtime of 8 hours just imagine in 365 days in a year you'll only have 8 hours of downtime so that is 99.9% just single digit after the decimal but there are more there is 99.99 there is 99.999 so we have three nines we have four nines we have five nines six nines all the way up to nine nines that is also a percentage where in milliseconds we will say there will be downtime so just imagine if you want to design that kind of system how many factors we have to keep in mind not just factors how much the business the revenue will also be having a boost okay and that is what and that is why system design is so popular nowadays you have to understand this why people are so much bullish about the subject why people are so much bullish about the subject so this is a table for your reference um uh, we just go through it take a pause and just go through it let's try to do this calculation on how do we come to this nines of availability so in a day we have 24 hours let's say i say that i'll be only uh down for one hour in a day so which means we are we how many how many hours we are operational we are operational for 23 hours so the formula of availability is how much you are actually up divided by the total number of hours so in a in a day we have 24 hours right so we will do 
and we need a percentage of this so it will i'll just multiply it by 100 and we will get 95.8 so if you're down for one hour in a day it is 95.8 percent not even close to 99 percent which means you have to increase our uptime so let's say i will say i will be up for 23.5 hours and now if i again divide it by 24 and what do we get 97.9 so 23.9 is also not sufficient. So I will increase it again. I will be like 23.9. Okay, 0.9. And divided by 24. Now when we do this, then we will be like, we have reached 99.5%. So even, so just imagine if I really want to have the to not even we are not even getting to one nine of availability that is we are not even getting to 99.9 percent .9 of availability by being operational for 23.9 hours so you can understand how competitive this entire thing is uh, now like i said the formula so the formula for this is going to be uptime how much you are up for divided by total time into 100 is going to give you the AV formula and that is how each of this is calculated. Now what are the strategies which we have to take to improve the availability? So if you are facing these scenarios that the app is not available for a lot of like the app is not available on many different occasions, what can you do? So firstly, we have to understand that in order to improve the availability, there is one important thing and that is to avoid single point of failure this is a very important keyword which we have to understand S single point of failure there should not be any single point of failure what do i mean by that for example your web server is serving the request a very simple so let's say you have a monolithic app and let's say your code is deployed there's only one server and your server is serving the request to 100 users on a day but suddenly your app became popular and that number of users grew up to 10,000 users. Now, the moment 10,000 users, it became your DB queries and all of that. Now, you start facing the lag or the glitch. And when you start facing that, it may happen that your server is no longer able to process it and it goes down. The moment your server goes down, there's a downtime. And because there's a downtime, your app shuts off. There's an unexpected crashing of that. So, when that happens, your availability has gone for a toss. So, what, what actually happened? There was a single point of failure. There was one server only, there was one database which was only uh, giving you, handing all the requests of all the 10,000 users and it crashed. So we have to understand that to improve availability, the major thing which we have to tackle is we have to avoid the single point of failure. To do that, there are multiple things we have to do, not just one. So one technique is to introduce redundancy. We will talk about redundancy in a separate video also. In simple words, you can understand the word redundant meaning having more multiple so like having backup systems so if this server goes down there will be another backup system which is going to take over and when that happens your your backup system is going to handle the load load balancing now in this case what is going to happen let's say you have multiple servers instead of one now you have three servers you bought two more servers although we don't buy servers nowadays so let's say you have three servers and the workload of 10,000 users is evenly getting distributed between three servers based on some load balancer algorithm. So when you do that, then you are using load balancing. And because of that reason, your availability is getting improved. So redundancy and load balancing. Then we have failover system. So similar to this, having a backup system, but in this, you do not have to manually do the switch the failover which means if your server has failed automatically it is going to switch to a healthy server and the healthy servers are going to be in standby so whenever it will monitor that this server is no longer able to handle it will switch to that standby system so the next thing is having regular maintenance of course your app not only crashes when you have a lot of users it can also crash if you have some security vulnerability in some software some third party library which you're using so that is something you have to take care of you should be patching it with the latest updates next is monitoring and alerts very important observability we call this observability so you have to keep an eye of on your systems so and set up alarms and alerts uh, so that they notify you if the cpu or the memory or many different factors are actually crossing the threshold so that you can take some action on that and sixth is uh, high availability architecture like i said 
there shouldn't be any single point of failure and to avoid that nowadays which is why we have moved to cloud so now in cloud like vendors like aws you may may have heard about terms like az's availability zones where the data is replicated across different regions so not just one data center there are multiple data centers so that if some mishap happens in one data center because they are in geographically different locations let's say i have one in delhi one in pune so if something happens to a data center in delhi at least i'll be able to serve my customers from the pune data center so that is also another way of improving or achieving high availability now now we'll start wrapping up on the topic so the last topic which we have is availability in sequence versus parallel uh, so when you have it in sequence what do we mean by that so let's say there is a chain of lights right so we have a light and then connected to this so the electricity flows through each of them so they are connected in sequence and if one of them shuts off the entire chain breaks similarly let's say we have three servers we have an app server uh, we have a dv server and we have a web server okay so now if there is a single chain and they're connected in sequence now let's say there is something uh, off with the app server so this chain is broken so the web will no longer be able to communicate because there is no other app server in between but okay so now because of this the availability reduces so when you have components in sequence the availability reduces the chances of one breaking down and affecting the entire chain of components increases so the probability increases of failure that is why the availability decreases so we are clear with that but when, what happens when it is in parallel suppose you had a chain like this you have web you have app you have db now think of it like roads right so we have multiple roads leading to the common destination oh sorry the destination is here so we have multiple roads leading to the common destination if there is a traffic uh, jam in one road we will take the another way so similar to that so let's say we have different uh, chain of components but they are in parallel like this so the redundancy which we are doing and there's a load balance so, so let's say something so this web is routing through this app and then this through this db but let's say something is wrong with this app server so this web server is no longer able to communicate then this web will route to this app server and then from here to this db so there's a new route that is getting created now because of this reason we are saying that when they are in parallel when the components are in parallel there is a way to increase there's a way to have your availability increased or keep it same that is why when the components are in parallel the total availability increases you have alternate options like you have alternate roads available leading to the destination so your app is not going to crash your app is not going to be shut down so this is one important thing which you have to remember finally we have availability versus reliability commonly confused topic uh, commonly confusing topics we'll talk about reliability redundancy in length in the next video but just try to understand availability means your system is up and running but reliability is more like it is not just it is not just up and running but it is also resilient it is also uh, fault tolerant that if there is a failure it is going to bounce back even stronger so you can think of it like that on that note i would say that if a system is reliable it is available so reliability if a system is reliable then we will say that the system is obviously going to be available but it is not the other way around if a system is available it doesn't mean that it is reliable so very simple example can be you have your app available okay but if there is a failure you are saying that okay i will switch back to another server but if there is a failure have you ensured that you have a disaster recovery plan if there is a failure have you ensured there are alerts set up now if you do not do this i cannot say that your app is reliable so being available is one thing being reliable is another thing having both is the objective so on that note we will wrap up today's video thank you so much for watching stay tuned and follow the series and watch the other videos also